Welcome to Study Loop. Okay, so in this question, so first, what we can do is that combine the two 20 ohm resistors together because they are in parallel and they have the same resistance. So the total resistance of this two resistor is going to be 10 ohm at here. Okay, so we define I1 as the current goes through this 6 ohm resistor, which is going up with the value of I1. Okay, and I2 is the current on the right going down here. I3 is the current on the left also going down this direction. Okay. All right, so we can define loop one here clockwise and loop two here be counterclockwise. Okay. All right, so for question A, we know the power of the 6 ohm resistor. Okay. So according to P equal to I squared R, right, I squared R, so we can see that I equal to square root P over R, which is 2 ampere. Now we know that I1, here's I1 actually, I1 equal to 2 ampere. So in loop one, we can have, according to the loop rule, so we have negative two times three here, minus two times six here, plus 25 volt, that's this battery, minus I2 times 10 plus 19 plus one, so all these three resistors together, equal to zero. So we have I2 equal 0 0.233 ampere. We find I2 now, which and I2 is the current goes through the ammeter, right? So here's the ammeter, here's I2. That's for part A. So for part B, we know I1, we know I2, so I3 equal to I1 minus I2 equal to 1.77 ampere. All right, so in loop two, we can write negative two times three minus two times six, these two resistors, plus 25, that's because of this battery, minus Epsilon, the EMF, because it's in the opposite direction of the loop, and minus 1.77 times times 13 plus 17. Okay, 13 plus 17 is this tube resistor equals zero. So from this equation, we can solve that the EMF equal to negative 46.1 volt. So the EMF is 46.1 volt, and because of this negative sign, which means the, the polarity of the battery is opposite what they show here. It actually should be in the opposite direction. 